Hey guys, it's XX Pineapple Girl here with another video. Back at back at it again. I like it. I like it. Okay. So today we're gonna be making tapioca pearls from scratch. So you're gonna need brown sugar for this recipe, and you're gonna need brown sugar, <coughs> tapioca flour. Ooh. Well, you're gonna need smells. tapioca starch, but then I looked it up and it says they're the same thing in America, and I said, okay, I guess. So if this doesn't end up well, then it's not my fault. So. I have to take this off because this is just in my way, but it's freezing in this house. I'm not cold. It's freezing. Are you serious? Pineapples don't get cold. Okay. First thing you want to do in this day and age, okay? Well, actually, you should probably be doing this anyway, but first thing you're going to want to do is wash your hands. Ew. You know, when I go back to edit videos, like I didn't, I don't even notice half the things you do. <laughs> so I go back and edit, and I'm like, what? <laughs> you need one third cup of water. Why? Where's the bowl? We don't even have a bowl. What are you doing? Okay. Anyway, we have one third cup of water here. We're just gonna pour it right in. Oh, and you're gonna want to turn this on. We're already boiling. We're already boiling. It's gonna evaporate. Okay. 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 We're gonna add, we're gonna add one fourth cup of brown sugar. Just throw it right in there, boom. And we're just gonna get some kind of spatula and just let it dissolve, you know what I'm saying? Ethan, let's have grilled cheese for dinner. Huh? Grilled cheese for dinner. So you're just gonna stir this up until it dissolves. All right, once all the brown sugar is evaporated. Okay, you're gonna wanna add a half cup, a half cup of the tapioca starch. Okay, so you're gonna want a consistency like this, I guess. I don't actually, I'm not completely sure here. Very gummy. Very sticky texture. You know what, we're just gonna take this off the heat now. You are gonna want a surface to knead this dough or whatever. Okay, so you're gonna get some of the tapioca flour. Just flour your working area, all right? You're gonna grab your little dough ball, throw it on your working area here. Add a little flour at a time here, okay? While we knead this. I don't know how to properly knead things, do you? Mm, I think you're doing good. Okay. Oh my God, it's really hot. <laughs> oh my God, it's actually really hot on my hands. It's ah! fine when you touch it, but then when you like no, press it's hot. down. So you're just gonna need this. Um, you're gonna keep putting the flour in until it's your desired consistency, okay? And this is kind of the consistency you're gonna want here. All right, all right. <laughs> what if I be a pilot and a doctor? You have powder on your nose. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna wanna get your dough to this consistency here. See, it's nice and, I don't even know. It's like, it feels like Play-Doh, that's the texture, okay? You're gonna want a Play-Doh It's a little texture. tougher than Play-Doh. A little tougher than Play-Doh, okay? All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you're gonna break your, dough up into parts so that you can make long log type things here okay so then you're just gonna cut it into little pieces here and this is just you're just gonna cut this depending on how big you want your boba okay we don't want ours too big are you making it too big um hopefully not we'll see this is about the size that everyone was doing and then once you have these, I mean, you know, cut them all up, but then you're just gonna form these into little balls. And then you have your boba, okay? And you are gonna wanna make sure there's a little bit of starch on there, because once you put them all in a bowl together, they will stick together. So just coat them with a little more starch if you need to. This is our boba balls. They look a little weird, but you know, who cares? Don't judge a book by its cover, you know what I'm saying? And then we have our water. We're gonna let it boil and then we're just gonna throw these right in for 15 minutes. 
Okay, so we're going to put this in for 15 minutes. Just throw them on in. And you're going to want to stir them so they don't stick together. Okay, so we got our bubble here. It's about done. So the thing is, it does expand. So these are giant bubble balls, but it's totally fine. Um, whatever, no big deal. You're just going to eat it with a spoon, not a straw. Okay, so just note, if you make this, do make the balls much smaller, but it tastes really good. It's not the same color as like traditional black tapioca pearls because I don't know because I'm not a chef. I don't know, but it tastes delicious. Morgan is making chai milk tea. Yes. So you guys took our tapioca off the stove and put it in ice cold water. I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit here. All right. Okay, guys. Have my matcha latte here with my boba in it, which can't see that well because it's very light colored, but it's really good. Um, loud. It's just a regular matcha latte with um, oat milk. So I'm eating it with a spoon yeah. because our boba is really big and oh, won't fit through a straw. Right so. Mm. It's good though. It's mm, really good. All right, Morgan, show them your final product here. This is my chai milk tea. Mm -hmm. My tapioca. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Wow, that's yummy. Does it boba fit with yeah. a straw? Um, mm -mm. Well, you low key have to add a lot of sugar to make it taste good. Did you use oat milk? Mm -mm. That's why oat milk. My oat milk's already sweetened, so you don't have to add sugar. It's amazing. It's great. She used regular cow milk. Lactose free. Oat milk's lactose free. Mmm. Points have been made. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like really, oat milk's really good for lattes. I swear. Way better than regular milk. I promise. <clears throat> I promise. Okay. Just for a few. Okay, you want to taste mine? Mmm. Yours looks scary. I agree. Y'all both, y'all don't know how, I be, next time I'll make y'all okay. I'll make y'all What? Mine is good. Center. Look at it. It does look pretty good. Okay, so. What's wrong with mine? It just looks scary. A little watery. Yeah, okay, guys. So, we're going to peace out, but thanks for watching this. Um, try this recipe out. It's super delicious, okay? Peace.